Hey guys, I'm Cody, editor of Pass Life Pro, and for this tutorial, I thought I'd show you how to adjust Bloom. This time, not in the Seuss shader, but the latest public Q to shader. This one being the Q to V 6.1.13 Beta Ultra. My friends, let's get started. First, have the cutie shader unzipped and ready to work with on the desktop. Access the folder, access the shaders folder, and locate final.fsh. Using Notepad++, open it up. From here, scroll down to line 193. For adjusting the amount of bloom that shows up in game, the number directly after bloom intensity is what we'll be using. Larger numbers increase the bloom amount. Smaller numbers decrease it to the point where there is no bloom at all, which would be at 0.0. .0. For my choice on this one, I actually do feel best with adding a little bit more bloom to the end result. So I'm going to change 0.45 to instead 0.55. In terms of other numbers for your choice, don't worry, you'll see some new adjustments in the following comparison. Save, and when you're ready, take a look at this in Minecraft. As with all my cutie shader tutorials, versions in time will change, so if you have any questions, I'd be happy to help you out in the comment section down below. If this cutie shader tutorial was of any use to you, then do hit that like button. And before we go, don't forget to check out my channel for some more Minecraft tutorials, some pro quality cinematics, and a bunch of other videos that you shouldn't miss. Anyways, I'm Cody, and this is Past Life Pro, where creativity is always a part of my life, as it will be for yours. Alright, see you guys.